Hey guys, it is Amanda here again and today I want to share with you something that I've been doing to my lips and I had a friend ask me um, what it, what was it that I was doing because my lips looked bigger. Um, obviously you guys know that I did do my lips, um, I would say maybe two months ago, not even, I think a month, like, yeah, two months ago. and. It was awesome, the experience was amazing. I do feel like I still have a little bit of the um, the Vobella on my lips, but you know, we always want to have it a little bigger. And this is something that I've been doing to my lips. I'm not sure if this is something new. Um, these products are new in the market, but it's something that I've been doing and um, I am loving. So what I'm gonna be using today, and um, I'm also sporting a brighter, um, smile and this is thanks um, thanks to Dr. Um, I'll link the information below and I did the zoom whitening I think it's the zoom sapphire whitening um, treatment and my, my teeth are like super 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 white I love it and it was only 30 minutes I went to I'm gonna be listing out um, letting you guys know a little bit more about my visit to the dentist office but I just wanted to give them a shout out because I feel super confident my with my teeth and being a little bit whiter so before um, I get started I just wanted to show you the products but basically it's I'm using a lot of the elf products okay excuse my nails they look a little cray cray I get them done today but I didn't want to wait too long to before showing you guys this um, this trick and I have um, I was gonna reapply my lipstick now. I'm like, you know what? Let me just turn on the camera and show my friends what I've been doing because I'm loving it. So basically, I love to do lip scrubs. I just hate that you have to carry the lip scrub and it's usually, I don't know, it's a mission. I never carry it with me, but for some good reason, I have been using the e.l.f. Um, product, which is the lip exfoliator, but it's, it's like in a lipstick. Too. so it looks like a lipstick and it's easier I don't know why I carry this more often um, with me so what I do is that I usually do this in the morning when I when I come to work when I first apply my lipstick or when the first time I'm gonna wear lipstick I usually do this and um, I'm loving it and I feel like too when you do exfoliate your lips it does um, I guess it does perk, perk it up a little bit Let me see. I feel like it adds a little bit of volume to your lips just because um, I guess like it adds um, because of the scrubby motion it does um, push some of your veins I guess like it causes more blood flow and so yeah that's why I feel like my lips do look a little bigger by doing this as well so I've been using it more um, doing it a lot more often so basically what you're going to need is this lip scrub if you don't have um, if you don't have one tried this one out by elf i know that there's a ton of other lip scrubs i have a few other ones at home but this is the one that i've been reaching out for the most so what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to rub this on my lip in a circular motion and you guys the smell of this it smells like roses like like a, petal, like a rose petal. It's just like amazing. So good. Try it like this. Circular motion. Let me rub this. Let me just keep doing it. Whoever created, invented this obviously was Elf. They're a genius because this is amazing. And you guys, and it smells so good too. I mean, it tastes is delicious. I know we're not supposed to like this, but it's very tempting because it's so good. So instead of doing using my lips, I just rub it back and forth. And then I'll go in here with my, li uh, my finger after. And just to make sure I get everything and it's so moisturizing too so once you're done 
I just take a napkin and I just wipe it or like a cotton pad and just wipe it gently. Mm, my lips feel so nice and so hot, like so moisturized. But I always go in too and I add a little bit of my Sugar Rose by Fresh. This one here has SPF 15. I just love that it has like a pretty red tint color to it. And I just I don't over apply too much because I don't want my lips to to get this color completely. I just want it a little bit. So I kind of just like do it one time. And then I go in with my e.l.f. and this is the um it's a lip definer and a lip shaper. I mainly use the lip define instead of the shape um, and I'll show you guys why. So the trick about lining your lip is you can overline so you don't look crazy. You can overline on the bottom here and on the top but do not overline your lips on the outside because on the side of your lips because when you when you do it here out you can tell that it's not your lip and it looks pretty funny. Um, so I think the most natural way of doing it, of lining your overlining your lip, is by doing it. Obviously, you can go in here and add a little bit of bronzer to it, just to make this um, dentation here a little bit more pronounced. But I am just gonna use this liner. This is what I do on a daily, um, and as I'm on the go. So this is like very easy steps. So here, I'm going to start overlining you see here I overlined the lip and you can see it already my lips look bigger already so I just overlined and this lip liner um, the natural color looks very similar to my lips and it makes it very natural so that's why I'm loving this one so I go in here you see pretty much I learned that that's it and now I go in here and I just line normally my lip liner here like my natural lip line it's a little bit more faded so that's why it looks like I overline but you see like I don't have a line here but technically that's where my lip goes my lip line is, it's just, it's just a little weird. I don't know how to explain it. See it, it's right there. And that's normal. So overline, just hollow, normal. Here, normal. And then I, I fill in. And I know you can make like lines here, here, and here, and that it adds volume to your lips. I this is I'm just showing you guys what I do. I go on here again. See, I overline a bit here. Not so much. And a makeup artist once told me that when we're lining our lips to always start from the bottom and go up. So always bring your lip line up so it adds volume to the center. So And then here, once I do the, the side, I go in and I start adding more to this top. Here. So I start overlining right here. And that's as far as I go. And then I fill in.
and then this is something that I do all the time to my lips because I feel like this is the it blurs out kind of the line that you have on the outside and it automatically adds volume to your lips because you don't see such a defined line so what I do is I go in with my my finger and I just blend and I touch the line I definitely go in there and I touch the line of my lips because I do want that line to get blurred out a little bit and I think when you do that it kind of already um, makes the line not so defined and then it blurs it out and it pushes it out a little more so so then that way it's like a natural way of overlining your lip So then I go back in here with the lip liner. Isn't this color beautiful? I love it. It has like a little bit of a peach pink color to it and it's my favorite. Again, blend it. And then I wipe it. So now on the other side, what I do with this is I just go in here and add a little bit of color to my Cupid's ball. See it? And then I can go in here too. Okay. And then lastly, but not least, I'm going to use the e.l.f. And these are the Runway Ready Lip Palette. Love the colors that it comes with. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the lightest color. This one here. I'm not sure what the name of that color is, but I'm obsessed with this. So I go with my lip brush. pretty much it you guys this is what I do to my lip and if you um <clears throat> if you're like me what you can do also is um 
if you're wearing this makeup, I think if you want this makeup to look a little bit more perfect, a little bit more um, perfected, I would say, like I'm a little bit more sharp and cleaner, what you can do is I like, go around with some foundation and a small, um, maybe like a concealer brush and just like kind of like perfect on the outside of your lips. So, so that way it gets a little bit more cleaned up than what, um, what I have on now. I love this look because this is what I've been doing every day. Um, I love it. I think it looks a little messy, but it's kind of cute. I love the colors, not so strong. So it looks pretty. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below if you guys like these tips. So check these out. It's the e.l.f. Um, lip Definer Lip Sharp sh um, Lip Sharper Shaper Lip Shaper in the color Nude and Natural. The e.l.f. Um, Runaway Ready Lip Palette. And check out this is amazing. The lip exfoliator in I think this is probably rose. It smells like rose. It's so nice, so yummy. So yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope I was able to um, teach you something, share something new with you guys. And if you guys do end up recreating this look or doing these or applying these tips, let me know in the comments below. I would love to check out and see what you're doing. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.